Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Mu'alimin Muhammad Shahid from the Faculty of Sharia and Law, University of Sain Islam, Malaysia. Along with me, my colleague, Dr. Malki Ahmad Nasir, the co-author who is from Faculty of Da'wah, Universitas Islam Bandung or UNISBA. Our topic for the presentation today is Guarding Sharia from Liberalism, a Critical Overview on Liberal Islam Network or JIL in Indonesia. Background of the study, the history has witnessed different efforts from other parties to go against Islam as a religion of peace through its teachings and values. Islam appears as a religion that propagates universal message of mercy and peace for all mankind regardless of their race, color, and religion. And Sharia as a law containing all guidance for Muslims in their daily life must be put above everything. Challenges faced by Islam in different parts of the world have been occurring until today. Uh, they are such as secularism, liberalism, and other concepts and thoughts. So these are the background of our study. As for objectives of the study, this paper aims at explaining how Sharia can be guarded from the threat of liberalism which occurred in Indonesia through the movement called Jaringan Islam Libra or Liberal Islam Network abbreviated as JIL or J-I-L. And also the paper elaborates in details the main issues related to the network which includes among others the history of its images, the key figures the concepts and activities, as well as uh, its missions and agenda. As for methodology of the study, the study is based on qualitative method of research using library research referring to primary and secondary resources gathered for the research. And the study analyzes the concept and thoughts followed and disseminated by the Liberal Islam Network followers and further study their movement in order to expose the faults and deviations as portrayed by this movement which emerged in Indonesia for the first time in early 2001. Some results of the study that has been gathered in the study. First, the Liberal Islam Network, or JIL, actually was a result of modernity and its philosophical thought which influenced young Indonesian Muslims. And the network is funded by Western foundations and they try to disseminate the ideas of secularization and westernization and also pluralisms, inclusivism, and feminism, as well as liberalism. And finally, the study asserts that in order to guard Sharia from the deviated thoughts is to understand Islam from the true interpretation of Islam by reliable Muslim scholars. Before I end, our presentation, I would like to summarize the most important points in our paper. The Liberal Islam Network, or known as Jaringan Islam Liberal in Indonesia, emerged, as we mentioned just now, as a result of modernity and its philosophical thought which influenced young Indonesian Muslim who studied in the Western higher learning institutions 
with no strong background of Islamic knowledge. So, being funded by non-Islamic or by Western foundations, the liberal Islam network is able to attract its followers through seminars and discussions and they disseminate its deviated ideas and ideology which are products of modernity and it is known from the idea of jaringan islam liberal the most threatening jill's enemy is so-called fundamentalist jill's activists would simply label muslims who have the characteristics such as commitment to islam detesting the concept of western ideology regaining the lost islamic legacy intending to implement Islamic law, propagating and believing that Islam is a religion and a state, as well as preserving the past or Islamic legacy for a future guidance, they consider, they are considered by uh, Jaringan Islam liberal followers as fundamentalists. All Islam liberals concepts and deviation in Islamic understanding have been influenced, as mentioned before, by Western philosophical thoughts and ideology, and those who follow and support the idea of liberal Islam are mostly those who are dazed by Western development, which is secular-based ideology. It is separating religion from, from life and state, and believing in supremacy of human reason over revelation. The only way to understand Islam as a final and ultimate religion is to understand Islam from within the Islamic legacy and through Muslim scholars' concept, which are accepted by the majority of Muslim people all over the world. It is important to say and remind that modernity is not understood correctly by Muslims or they are being deceived by Western concept of modernity. So it is a must to know and realize that modernity is actually a philosophical concept believing in supremacy of human reason and getting rid of God's guidance and the denial of religion. So Based on these facts, in order to guard Sharia or Islamic law from the liberalism concepts and thoughts, there is no other way than going back and referring to the original version of Islamic teachings based on the authentic Islamic sources or Adil Sharia and to reliable Muslim scholars' interpretation. On top of that, exposing the faults of liberalism as portrayed by the liberal Islam network in Indonesia and explaining the truth of Sharia law to the people is a crucial effort to be done. Although Islam is facing different types of challenges and efforts which are coming from those who oppose the true image of Islam all over the world, such as many incidents occurred nowadays in several parts of countries, the truth will reveal and Islam will appear as the winner. As promised by Allah the Almighty in His Quran, they, the disbelievers, the Jews and the Christians want to extinguish Allah's light with which Muhammad wasallam has been sent. It is Islamic monotheism with their mouths, but Allah will not allow except that his light should be perfected even though the disbelievers hate it. From Surah At-Tawbah verse 32. This is the summary of our study. Thank you for watching. With that, I end. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.